greeting students. So this in this video, we are going to learn about Form 4, Chapter 1, Exercise. The reason I do exercise rather than notes is because each of us only have 24 hours. Whether we want to have this two hour in reading notes or two hour um, doing exercise. It's like two hour you listen as a passive learner, passive learners, or you want to be the active learner. Because if you want to improve, you need to be the active learner, not passive. Passive means I will listen. Oh yes, this, this is what the teacher is talking about. Active learner means they like they participate in the participate in the conversation. So to make yourself improve in a better way, the is to pause this video and to and even you don't want to write it down, you just stay in your mind. After that, you play this video as I explained, then you will hear all the explanation of the answer. So let's start. Number one. Okay, for this question, usually I will recommend students to highlight it because it's too long. Sometimes in science, the answer is already in the question. Just students do not understand the question. So let's read the question slowly. A student conduct an experiment using several apparatus and material. After completing the material, he needs to clean the apparatus, use and dispose the waste from the experiment. The following show the waste substance that needed to be disposed of. So we have syringe, needle, scalpel, glove, blood, and lab animals. Question A. Based on the list of waste substance above, state category B. What is the category B? So the answer will be glove. Why the answer is glove? So let me just type down the answer first. Glove. The reason is for category A is for sharp waste like syringe and needle. For category B is non-sharp. It could be glove, cotton, towel, tissue, and so on. C is for Category C for the waste substance that we are going to we talk about is carcasses, means mayat, the dead animal, um, living dead things, lah, dead organism, like animal tissue or their meat or their organs. And for category D is bodily fluid, like blood and saliva. So for this one mark, it will be glove because glove is a non-sharp thing. B, which of the above waste substance need to be autoclaved at 121 Celsius and 50 pressure before disposal? Let's say even though you don't know what is the word autoclave, but from, I mean, logically, if you can think, um, is we need to make the thing as hot as 121 degree and make it um, put the pressure into the thing. I mean, putting pressure, lah, high pressure. The reason from here we can guess like probably 121 Celsius, the microorganism will die. Okay, the bacteria also will die. So basically, the autoclave is like to sterilize in a container, giving like high pressure and temperature, so that the we can sterilize the equipment. So means the equipment won't have bacteria and organism because we know bacteria usually will die above hundred Celsius, right? So this is hundred and twenty one Celsius, and with a high pressure. So the question say which of the substance need to like kill the microorganism, correct or not? We need to autoclave it, we need to sterilize it, we need to kill the bacteria before we throw it. So we have um, category A, category B, category C and D. So which category you think? So this the answer here will be the glove. Okay, 
because probably the growth got a lot of bacteria and microorganisms so we want to autoclave it we want to make sure the thing is um, the bacteria the microorganisms microorganism dead before we throw it question number two need to be decontaminate be before being disposed through the sewage system before go into the long kang, not the long kang lah, parade lah, huh? when you uh, bear up when you um, defecate when you got the poop you want to you throw go into the toilet right that's called the sewage okay so the sewage uh, which one we want to decontaminate when we read decontaminate means we know that at least the thing is contaminate so of course for sewage is a liquid right we, want to, we don't throw solid thing into the we don't want to throw solid thing into the long kang right like for this thing we can see it's not in the textbook right so we need to think okay this is a sewage like the system parade so we want to throw not something not um solid so probably this one is solid so it's not a and b is um b is b also is solid so it's not solid c also is solid so the answer is d because it is a fluid so we can see that the uh, fluid in this category we can see got blood only blood okay so the answer will be blood Okay, so the answer is blood. Let's move on to the next question. No need to be autoclave before placed in the special container. Means we no need to clean it. Which one you think like it no need to be cleaned before we throw it? So the answer will be A. Okay, A like a syringe and a needle. Next question. Mark correct the substance that has to be disposed in the same manner as blood. So we know blood is a fluid. Uh, when we are talking about category D, it's a fluid, means liquid. Um, serum and culture medium. Which one we want to dispose like in the manner of blood? So the answer will be a serum. Okay, serum is a, something like um, antibody injected into the uh, for the body. Um, so why serum, not a culture medium? Serum is like the antibody and culture medium is like the, the thing that you want to culture inside the petri dish, whether it's a bacteria or I don't know, it could be bacteria, it could be anything. But the answer is serum, not culture medium. This, because, this happened because serum is an antibody where you get the antibody from the syringe correct or not the jarum where you get the the antibody that mix the chemical no actually they get the serum from i don't know do you need to ask doctor so some usually i think the most common one is horse blood they just put the bacteria into the horse blood and then i don't know how they do and they get the horse blood and then they put in the lab they separate it and they got the liquid and the liquid is the antibody, we call it serum. So instead of getting the antibody from another human being, we get the antibody from a horse. And the term that we call this thing is uh, serum. So serum also you, is also come from blood, okay? Uh, animal blood, just you need to separate out. So the answer will be serum.